Hey, you guys, it's Rachel here <clears throat> with Sons of Tempo County Corso. So, um, I'm in here with uh, Velocity. She is um, still doing well. She's uh, looks like her um, front is starting to heat up a little bit as far as um, the progress that she's made so far. Um, she's definitely been laboring all day as far as just Braxton Hicks contractions and I think um, normal contractions. She has had no pushing yet. She's not under any kind of duress other than just normal, you know, labor. So at this point, there's no reason for me to feel concerned. Um, I have checked her twice now um, uh, just to see if she's dilating, and she is. Um, I checked her earlier this morning, and I could tell that she wasn't close. And um, so I think we are going to be looking at a nighttime labor. I was hoping it would be daytime, but um, we just know such luck. And she's doing really good in here, drinking her water. Um, she's, um, it's not hot in here. This is just part of the process. So we're just going through it with her. Um, really excited. Looking forward to seeing these new babies. Uh, so anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's just where, where we're, unfortunately, where we're at. There's really no, um, no progress. Um, I'll take a moment to answer some questions. So, <clears throat> um, I had somebody ask, um, is this Velocity's last litter? And the answer to that is no. She's, this is only her third litter. So, um, she, uh, she's still, you know, she's still a, a young female that's, um, not had a whole lot of breeding. So, you know, there's no issue there. Um, another person asked if we know how many puppies um, that she's having. And the answer to that is no. Um, we do not know how many puppies that she's having. We do know that she looks bigger than um, she has previously. So I'm guessing that, you know, it's probably going to be a pretty decent litter. Um, I'll tell you a trick that I did um, while I'm thinking about it to get her to eat. If any of you are breeders and you've got a female that's being finicky, this is going to sound horrible, but it works. And um, when you have a female that won't eat, you expect, like, you know, they, they oftentimes don't want to eat, um, I would say, the day of, and usually maybe like the last week of the pregnancy, they get um, nauseous. They don't want to eat anything. <clears throat> and so what I have been getting is um, it's a pedigree high protein um, canned food and it's basically these like chunks and then there's a gravy and normally I would not uh, be the type to feed pedigree to my dogs but um, I had somebody recommend it to me and it worked fantastically uh, same thing to get Zoe um, back to eating well again after her little stomach bug and same thing she's she eats it and she's putting on the weight and you know once they um, get their energy back and they start to put back on weight, then it's kind of, uh, what's the word? Like, um, um, like a spiral or, uh, like a tumbling effect. You know what I mean? Like they continue to get better and better and better. So, um, so anyway, so that worked really well. Other than that, she's been sleeping, um, just chilling, we're clearly, like I said, we're clearly getting closer. Um, I've checked her multiple times. And the only thing that I can tell is that um, she is losing the last bits of her mucus plug. Um, that's a, uh, basically, um, they have, it's like um, like a thick mucus, you know, it's a plug. Um, that kind of keeps everything, you kind of consider it like a, like a cork in a bottle, right? In a wine bottle. It keeps everything... Um, you know, in there and, you know, protected from the outside and etc. And as a female starts to ready herself for labor, that progressively breaks down and it's, um, you'll see it after they typically go to the bathroom, um, specifically number one. 
and you'll see um, a viscousy, almost gel-like um, substance. And it's typically clear. Um, might have a little bit of a yellow hue to it, but it's typically clear and gelatinous. And uh, the last week of the pregnancy, they will begin to lose that. And so each time that I've gone in to palpate her, I've gotten some more of that. So we're you know, clearly still, you know, good. It's it's very, very, it's a colorless, um, translucent, viscousy fluid. So um, no, no, th nothing to make me think that we're in um, active labor. So, yeah. I guess that's kind of where we're at. Um, I wanted to do this video because I did post a picture of her on Instagram and I let everybody know that she was in labor because she is. But um, just wanted to give everybody an update because it's been a while and I haven't said anything. So um, so anyway, I'm hoping to be able to live stream. Um, I have a real issue with internet in my area. It really sucks. There's not much in the way of providers and the speeds that they offer as far as like upload speeds are just horrendous. So if anybody has any ideas, anybody knows anything that I could do um, to get faster upload speeds, the, the only thing that I can do right now is use my phone, my cell phone. And, um, and so, you know, it works for uploading video, but I don't know, um, about live streaming or even how long that is going to continue to to work for. So yeah, as you can see, she is just she is ready. Um, she's very 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 ready. She keeps checking herself, thinking that there's something back there. I know, baby girl. Yeah, I know. I was using this. Um, I don't know what I where I did with all my towels, but I was using this wet shirt to kind of rub her down with like I usually do, um, but I am trying to kind of do this thing where, like, it's like, it's one thing when you have a young dog and they've never been through the labor process before, and, um, sometimes they can kind of <clears throat> freak themselves out so much from the whole process that, um, they can kind of almost stall the labor, and they kind of hold on to the puppies, and so, um, I'll often get in, and I'll kind of um, calm them down and um, try to get them to release um, some oxytocin just from, you know, giving them lots of rubbing and loving and all that stuff and just kind of help them um, have something positive and calm them down. But I also don't want my females to be um, 100% like relying on me. Like I want them to be able to do what they need to do. Okay. Sorry about that. Reese called and I, I had to answer real fast because she's been wondering how Velocity was doing. So anyway, what I was saying is that um, while I like to be there for my females, I don't want them to be like 100% reliant or dependent upon me. I want them to be able to do um, what they need to do. And so, um, and so anyway, and that's just for them, you know, like it's, it's, and for me, like, what, like, what if I had two females in labor at the same time? You know what I mean? So, um, or if I was sick or something, you know, whatever, right? Like, um, I want them to be able to be self-sufficient, but I also want to be there for them, um, if, you know, if I can. So, um, so anyway, so yeah, so we've just been hanging out in the room. Um, she's in my bedroom, so I've been just hanging out. I've been, I've been watching the Prophecy movies with Christopher Walken. I don't know if y'all like that, but those are some of my favorite, not my favorite movies, but like, but like, I really like them. <laughs> so, um, they're just one of those ones that I watch like every now and again. So, um, I like a lot of like kind of, um, I don't even know what genre you would call that, but like Christian themed genres like that. So like, I also, one of my favorites is Constantine. I love the movie Constantine. Um, so I watched that. And then I think we have like stigmata. Um, I don't know. So I just like stuff like that. And that's just what I've been. I unfortunately, because I don't have internet right now, <laughs> I've been having to um, to watch old um, DVDs, which is like fine. It's like whatever. So anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let her rest. And um, as soon as we know something more, I'll give you guys a holler. Um, so make sure your notifications are on. 
Bye.